time. Overcrowding is a big problem when everyone breeds at once, and on clifftops with few narrow ledges on offer, its squabbles are plenty. Here it's not so much pecking order as personal space. A variety of seabirds all nest together, backed up against a wall. When it's so hard to keep a footing, it's not surprising tempers fray. The northern gannet is one bird that likes a party, at least at first glance. Tens of thousands will crowd together to breed. The nesting sites are spaced roughly a bill's length apart. It takes a while to establish property boundaries. But the biggest scraps are over nesting material, something in very short supply. In Gannet society, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's seaweed. Guillemots hardly build nests at all. There really isn't room on their sky-rise cliffs. This might look like another fight, a round of fencing, but this is the next stage of family planning, male and female bill tapping in courtship. And if all goes well, they'll soon have an ugly duckling of their own. But that doesn't mean the fight club can take a break. All seabirds work tirelessly to bring home fish for their young families. When humans arrive for a spot of bird watching, terns are outraged. The fight club takes to the skies for an aerial attack. No potential threat too big to get the point. Then there are the neighbors to deal with. A guillemot returns to feed the kids. It turns into a fishy free-for-all. A puffin with a bill full of sand eels has to fight another avian thief. Gulls are just after free food, but they have larger cousins intent on flesh. A great skewer or bongsi. A guillemot chick would make a tasty mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> 